Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Bohan. Today we are going to investigate alert, uh, an alert on the Let's Defend platform. So the alert we are going to investigate in today is the uh, SOC 101, uh, fish, Fishing Mile Detected. So this alert, it, it is coming out at April 4th, uh, 2021 at 11 p.m. And this is a source address. And this is a destination address and the email subject is it most have for your phone and it is allowed on the device. So we can add this to uh, we can take the ownership for this event and uh, we can actually uh, start into investigating it. So uh, let's create a create a case for this event. And this is related to the related to the exchange, so we know it is related to the uh, email. So we can start the playbook, and the playbook basically it is just a certain actions you can take uh, in order to investigate this uh, event. So we can start this uh, event just to to answer some questions, uh, following questions. So I think we need to uh, just. Uh, um just to double check if we have any uh how, how we can like investigate it so um first question is when was it sent um so this is created at yeah it is asking for like when was it sent so I think it is at 11 p.m. Um, because the event time is at this time, but but this is like a mailbox. We can always check the mailbox. Um, so we can check this SMTP uh, IP. Um, actually, we can check the user's uh, mailbox. I guess it's Mark, right? Hmm. Can we check this? It doesn't it doesn't return anything. It is actually over here, but it doesn't return anything though. So uh, it is sending from this. Uh, yeah. So the sending time is April fourth. Uh, at eleven p.m. Uh, as we saw in here. So, uh, in the in the mailbox, and the, on the what is the email SMTP address? So, the address is this IP over here. Um, what is the sender's IP? Uh, address the sender address is uh, uh, let uh, this this sender address is at gmail.com and we can see that what is the recipient's address we can also confirm that recipient address is mark at let's defend io and we can see the is this mail content suspicious yes it is because we have this email subject over here and it is asking us to uh, visit this URL. So this URL uh, looks pretty suspicious. Are there any attachment? Um, from what from what I can see, there is not any attachment in in this case. So we can go into the next case. Are there any attachments or URL in the email based on what based on what I say early? Uh, answer is yes. And. Uh, so in this case, um, we want to just verify on the virus total if this URL is actually malicious or not. So we can, uh, you never want to like open it. So you just want to check check on it. So, so one of these vendor flagged it as a malicious and uh, three other vendors, one vendor flagged it as suspicious, two other vendor flagged it as a spam. Um, so it definitely, I think, at some point, it is associated with uh, 
uh, malicious activity. So we know that um, in this case, I would just mark it as like uh, malicious because Yeah, because it is very suspicious um, in this case. So since we do not have any like, I think this site, um, if you check on the other, like, if you check on the URL PNG, uh, you can actually look at what this site is look actually look like. So you, you can just look on this on here and this side is actually returns back to like cannot be reached. So I think this side has already been offline. So at some point this site is might be malicious, but it has already been taken offline. Uh, you can also check on the URL uh, like what's that thing called um, URL house. So and the URL scan. Uh, we do not have to scan it because it has already been taken offline, but we can check on this site. Um, this site doesn't return anything, so let's check on the URL. Um, URL scan. This is like, um, just wants to check very quick. So could not resolve the domain, so the domain does not um, it because it is not uh, uh, online anymore. So we, but I would still mark it as malicious. And uh, so, uh, the value the value I would just mark it as like a URL address, and uh, I would just mark it as offline. Um, so we we got some other stuff we can add. So email senders. Um, Email sender is this one, so we want to give a little bit more details over here, right? So, and then we can add on the um, I mean, email senders, um, email domain is Gmail. We want to mark it as a gmail um, gmail.com so you can have um, IP address IP address based on what we say early um, it is this one server servers IP address so I think um, just be careful that if you put any like email address you want to use this uh, defund URL to obfuscate your email uh, to the malicious URL uh, so that the the users whoever look at it, look at your report will not click on will not accidentally go into that malicious website and getting infected so uh, I didn't think we have any MD5 hash in this case because we do not have any attachment. So I'm just gonna to um, proceed into the next step. So click check if mail delivered to the user. Uh, yes. Delete email from recipient. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna to delete it. If check if someone opened the malicious file or URL, please go to log management page and check if the C2 address accessed. You can check if the malicious file is run by searching the C2 address of the malicious file. Please check yes if someone accessed the malicious address. Otherwise, please check no button. So going to the log management. Um, so this is like a endpoint but we can check on the log so uh, you want to check on this um, this is like SMTP so what we want to focus on is we want to um, I think we want to focus on the 
that IP address for that malicious URL. So uh, let's just check this very quick. So actually we see that one of these process uh, is being recorded. So one of this event is being recorded as the source IP address. This is on the April 4th. Um, yeah, so it is on April 4th, uh, 11, 10 p.m. Um, So this uh this is like around that time this is a uh email was being delivered at 11 p.m. and uh, this um out outbound traffic is going to that destination address at 11 10 p.m. and uh, on the port 80 so the user has already visited that website so we can see that yes uh contain containment so please go to edr page and then contain the user's machine after containing please click next button to finish the playbook so we can go into the um i guess it is the endpoint security right so what you want to do is to contain this uh basically just do like a um some recover for this machine, so um, so based on this IP, we see that this source IP is this one. So we're just gonna to search for it. Uh, I think I'm not sure what IP it is. So the source address is this one. Um, but it is this marks marks uh, PRD. So the marks PRD has the um, 172.16.17.88. So that is this marks PRD over here. So we see that Browse history does not have any. Command history does not have any. Network connection does not have any. But we have process list. We see that uh, the Chrome is being opened and uh, definitely this user has been um, doing some malicious stuff um, once, once this user visited that website. So we just wanna contain it. Did we contain it? Yes, yeah, so wait. Not sure why, but yeah, it has been contained. Um, I think I did it like this case. This I already did this machine early, so this this machine has already been contained. Um, so um, I guess we can just proceed into the next step. Um, finish the playbook. And uh, we can just close this case. So you want to mark it as a true positive. Uh, confirmed um, user. The user uh, visited the Confirm the user visited the 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 site. The malicious URL, right? So you, you wanna like give some details in there. So confirmed user visited the malicious URL. So basically, you just include what you see over here. Um, so. Machine has been contained. You might can give a little bit more details over port over port eighty, right? So over port eighty, 
machine has been contained. Um, no further malicious activity. Like, I think you can just keep it as this way for now. Um, and like, I'm just gonna close the alert. So let's see how I did. So um, I got all right, but Yeah, so I got everything uh, right. So, but I I really would like the uh, the author give some like uh, notes um, because I would I would like to see how this uh, the author for this alert would doing this uh, scenario. But uh, I really enjoyed this this alert. Um, and uh, I think that that is for today. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, see you guys next time.